Well, it's been a year. Well, I'm back. Hoping to catch him off guard without it being noticed. Now that I had gotten a better look at what it truly was, even I was taken aback by its appearance. Huh. The creature was only around a foot shorter than me, standing about seven feet high. Ugh. It possessed a multitude of legs, and by that, I mean an ungodly amount. And giving most centipedes a run for their money. A bomb. Above all those pairs of legs sat a thin body, no more than just a couple inches in width. Its torso, chest, and abdomen were all the same thickness. This creature practically had the build of a leaf rake. On top of that thin body rested its head. A long, also thin rectangle that was just as far off to its sides and triangular-shaped eyes on each end of its rectangular head. As if it were some sort of hammerhead shark had gone wrong. The boy had just made it to the tree and stopped. Presumably about to begin urinating. The entity slowly crept up behind. And I sped up my low crawl towards it. I wanted to get to it before it was able to grab a hold of the unsuspecting victim. Once the creature was in range to snatch up its prey. One of its supposed legs extended outward from below. Poor shit. Another die at the foundation. Well, whatever. See you in the morning. Let's go chill. Here for the day. Push play. It stretched itself toward the boy. Less than a foot from wrapping itself around his skinny neck, without him having a single clue. I quickly got on my hind legs and lunged between them, reaching out with one of my arms and slashing the right off, I. causing the cryptid to wail and stumble backwards in surprise as he cried out in pain. The boy turned to see both of us. He was frightened beyond comprehension and completely paralyzed, having no idea what to do next. And I didn't blame him. Go, I barked. Now, or you will die if you stay here. Him hearing me speak, it snapped him out of his trance. He screamed for his peers and ran back into the clearing, where their campsite had been set up. What the hell was that? One of the females said before letting out a blood-curdling screech. We gotta go. Get to the truck now. Another chimed in, just as frightened as the rest. They quickly began to run off and retreat, now leaving me alone with the other cryptid. Kill the other You dare step foot into my territory and allow my prey to escape. It startled me in a loud, hissing fashion. Kill that Still cryptid. clutching the limb I had sliced off with my claws. I buried my teeth, preparing myself for the inevitable battle. The humans are to be left alone. Leave them be, I growled.